Hey guys, welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models. Well, this is going to be a stash ad video, and it's going to be the biggest haul that I've ever taken at one time. In a couple minutes, I'm going to flip you guys around, and I'm going to show you what I brought home. So a little bit of backstory. So some months ago, um, probably before the YouTube channel, I was building um, a 62 Pontiac Catalina. And as we all know, on the front of that kit, the bumper is kind of twisted. It's kind of funky how it fits on there. And I broke it. Well, I put the call out and I said, I need a front bumper for Pontiac, uh, 62 Pontiac Catalina SD421. A friend of mine, Chad, um, he said he had a kit. It's not necessarily the same kit. It's actually the customizing kit right here. But it had the same bumper. He's like, come on out and grab it. I'll give you the kit. So he gave me the kit. I got the bumper, put the bumper on the car, and then he decided to show me some of his other model kits. As he was showing me some of his kits, I decided to make an offer on some of the kits that I wanted. He accepted that offer, and I brought home a stash. That was probably one of my last stash ad videos that I've done, okay? Um, other than the things that I bought at the hobby shop and, and uh, Hobby Lobby and such. So. From that point on, it was always this thing that uh, <clears throat> he had other ones that I wanted to acquire. So he struck up a deal, and I decided to propose making him two custom handmade knives in exchange for the model kits that I wanted. He accepted that offer. So as time went by, working on these knives for him, uh, I worked on those knives this weekend, got finished with them, and it was time to go get this trade done. So yesterday afternoon, I was able to uh, drive the hour to his house, and um, I traded him the knives for the model kits. I came home with about 25 model kits, and uh, I'm going to flip you guys around here in a second, and I'm going to show you what I got. Stick around. Alright guys, welcome back. If you hear me uh, making noise in the background, it's just me shuffling around trying to get model kits up on the bench. So forgive the background noise. So the first kit that I want to show you guys is this 1987 Thunderbird Turbo Coupe. I don't think I've ever had one of these in a stash, and I don't believe I've ever built one. But now I have one. The kit's completely sealed, and I believe it's a 1986 release. Next one up is the Hawaiian Funny Car. Now if you go back a little ways in my videos... Uh, to a Way Back Wednesday episode. I did a Way Back Wednesday episode on the Chi-Town Hustler that I did. And uh, I always wanted to do this one too, but I never got around to it. This kit's completely sealed. And uh, probably end up doing this one pretty soon. Next up. Ravel Dotson 240Z. Boy, howdy. I've tried to get this kit on a couple different occasions. I missed out on it on eBay on a couple different occasions. And uh, each time I was a little bit broken hearted about it. And uh, now I finally got one. So uh, I've already had offers on this. And I don't think this one's going anywhere. I've been looking for this one for too long. You guys know how I like my sedan deliveries. Now, I'm not necessarily a Ford guy, but when we're talking this era of cars, I don't care whether it's a Ford, Chevy, Dodge, whatever. I love them. But uh, this is a 33 Ford street rod. And, uh, yeah, you know that's getting built. It's another one I've been looking for for a while. Look at that. Look at the price. $9.99. Oh boy, those were the days. But um, seriously, this is another one that I missed out on eBay on, on a couple different occasions. And this kit is completely sealed. And now I finally have one. I would really like to find a 55 Nomad as, as well. Oh boy. Another one that's completely sealed. 31 Ford Model A sedan. You know how I love those those sedans, and uh, if you guys 
follow it along with the 32 appreciation build that's exactly what I built and uh, you guys know how much I like the 32s all right yeah buddy who doesn't love a 55 Chevy right so uh, this is a completely sealed kit as well and uh, yeah you gotta love it right All right, next up. Forty Ford Pickup Street Rod. So check this out. I have never built a Forty Ford Coupe, nor have I built a Forty Ford Pickup Truck, ever, that I could ever remember. It's kind of weird. It's almost like that Willys thing where I never built the 41 Willys before, but... The 40 Fords are, are in that category of cars that I've never built. But now I have one, and I can guarantee this truck's getting built. Alright, next up. So the Buick Regal stock car. This is the one that doesn't come with any decals as far as I know. And uh, you can put any livery that you want on it. And he had a couple of them. He told me that he had plenty more before, but uh, he had two left, so I took one of them and left one with him. I did not pay $2 for <laughs> But uh, here we are again with a 32 Ford Vicky sedan this time. And uh, these are just as cool as the sedan deliveries. And the coupes in my eyes. All right. Now, as BG says, the cut the grass. Yeah, buddy. I built uh, different reissues of this kit so many times. I've got parts of just about every one of them in my parts bins. I had one I had done in purple that I thought I was going to resurrect. And uh, I was just telling my wife, I'd really like to get a hold of one of these kits. And uh, now I have. That's not it. Stick around. All right, guys. Next up. Yeah. They just reissued this one. And this does have the trailer and the chopper. Now this is open, but it's sealed inside, so everything is all there. Right. Yeah, another one, open, but sealed inside. Now you guys all know about my racing history and my open wheel modified history. I love midgets and sprints, and uh, this is a really cool kit. Another one that's open but complete on the inside. 29 Ford. Pickup. It's a pretty cool kit. Bam. This is the older release. This is also open but completely sealed on the inside. 76 Chevy Caprice. He had a couple of these as well. I left one with him. I took the one that was open but sealed inside, and I left the uh, the one that was completely sealed with him. All right, guys. This is one I've been after as well. This is open, sealed inside. Everything is there. It's all complete. And um, this is one that I've been looking for for quite a long time. The 120th scale McLaren Mark 8D by MPC. Now it's going to get built even though it's the bigger scale. Uh, I found out that there's two versions of this car. There's the low wing version and the high wing version. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been dreaming of this car. Ever since I saw that he had, he's got two of them actually. He's got one that's completely sealed and he had this one that... Uh, was open but sealed inside and ever since I saw he had one of these I 
been salivating over it. This is the one car that I kept dreaming about constantly, over and over. I was like, I gotta get that McLaren. Now I have one. Alright guys, hold your horses. Alright, you guys know that I'm an Ed Big Daddy Roth fan. And it's the Mysterian. It's in the uh, collector tin. And at first, I didn't want to bring this one home. I was unsure about it and everything. And he's like, nope, go ahead. You know, it's yours. Bring it home. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, guys. You know, I normally don't get anything that I'm not willing to build. And I don't know if I'm willing to build this one. It might just st stay in that tin unless it's, uh, you know, it's an itch for me to build it. All right. But wait, there's more. Okay, some of these kits are missing some stuff like wheels and tires. Some are, are complete and, and missing, you know, uh, little tidbit stuff, but it's not a big deal. So I already have a little coffin in the stash, but here's another one. This is missing the wheels and tires, unfortunately, but everything else is there. This is missing some things too, but the body and everything else is there, so uh, I can definitely do something with this. This one is mostly com complete. The body and the hood and everything is there. The uh, fender skirts and everything. And I won't be building this as a low rider. I'm sure I'm going to use the body for something else. Uh, turn it into a street rod or something. Jeep CJ7, everything is there but the wheels and tires. But that's okay because I have wheels and tires that will go right on this. Mostly complete. And when we were digging through uh, boxes, we were finding mi mismatched parts in some of the boxes. And I handed him a sprue tree and I was like, yeah, this doesn't go with this kit. It was in another kit. And then when I got home and I was looking through this kit, I realized that sprue tree that I handed Chad to, to put away was in fact for this Sonoma. So I got to get that back and then it'll be complete. We all know this one. Now some work has been done to this. This uh, The cab has been chopped. Um... And I'll do a little bit of work to clean that up and everything else like that. But as far as I can tell, everything else is in this box. Big 120th scale. As far as I can tell, everything's in the box. And last but not least... Big 120th scale Camaro. And as far as I can tell, everything is in the box. And uh, I'll find out once I dig through it a little bit more and uh, I compare everything with the, uh, with the instructions and everything. I do have one more thing I want to show you. It's a Nova body. I'm pretty sure that it's probably a Ravel Nova. I doubt it's an AMT Nova. but uh, And it's sure not the old Pro because the fenders are actually attached. I'm going to do something with this. He, he sent this along with me even though I was trying to give it back to him. He sent it along with me. He goes, I could see that as a Pro Street. And he's 100% correct. This probably will turn into a Pro Street. But anyway, guys. That's my stash ads for today. I think it was a pretty excellent haul. I want to thank Chad for uh, doing the trade with me. And, um, yeah, man, I'm pretty excited. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.